Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on Their Fight Story with Idalia. If you are new here and you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. We have an amazing professional fighter today, Zach DiSabatino, who is currently 10 and 2 in his fight career. Hi, Zach. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you. What made you decide to become a fighter? I don't really know a hell of a lot of about the sport. Uh, my buddy kind of just like brought me to a gym one day and stuff like that. And so I've been training for a little bit. Like it's just something I really liked, um, you know, like not really competing or anything. I just like training. So I figured after like a while, I was training off and on kind of throughout college and stuff like that, that, um, you know, it'd be cool just like to compete and stuff like that, you know, do like an amateur fight. And um, so that went well. And then I went back to college. And then when I came back, I just decided that I kind of like want to get into it on a regular basis. And it kind of just went from there. What did you go to college for? Um, I studied exercise science, so it kind of like nice. fits in pretty well with all this sort of stuff, you know. So you started um, your amateur career in 2015, and then you turned yeah. pro in 2017. Has anything changed um, your perspective about being a fighter or going into fighting? No, nothing particularly. Like I said, I started it out kind of just like as something to do as a hobby. And then, you know, it kind of just like got more serious, I guess, as it went along. And then, you know, just like. I guess something I've just committed myself to more mm -hmm. over the years, like as I've become more experienced. What stands out the most um, in your fight career? What stands out the most? What do you mean? You know, you went into it. It wasn't really something that you wanted. A lot of the fighters, you ask them, you know, why'd you get into it? And they're like, yeah, you know, I've always wanted to be a fighter. Um, yeah, yeah, um, really good question. So yeah, I always say like, you know, I think a lot of people go in like their beginning goal you know, before they even like started their amateur career or whatever is like, they're like, I want to make the UFC. I want to make this, I want to whatever accomplish this. So I always kind of just like kind of took it day by day with that, I guess. Um, so like I said, I didn't have like an original goal to accomplish everything. Like I just thought it was cool that like I had a few amateur fights, you know, and some of my teammates are like, all right, so when are you going to, you know, start doing professional fights? Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm not. And they're like, well, why not? And I was like, yeah, well, maybe I should try one and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like I've never really had, you know, kind of up till recently, like I never had like a super long-term goal or anything mm -hmm. with it. So it seemed to work out. Like if I don't, you know, plan past my next fight, I think I can just focus on kind of the task at hand a little better. What's interesting about your fight career and you've had 12 fights out of your mm -hmm. 10 wins, Eight of them have been either by submission, TKO, or a knockout. And only two have been by decisions. Mm -hmm. How do you think this um, particular fight is going to play out? Do you is, – is that like your mindset to finish? Yeah, I mean, always. Again, I don't like – I don't really have like um, – you know, I don't like plan a certain way that it's going to play out. I feel like when people do that and then it doesn't work, they kind of um, – mm -hmm you know, maybe lack a plan B or they just have a hard time adjusting. Like if they were so sure that something that they were going to do well doesn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. So I never really see fights playing out a particular way. I kind of just go, you know, obviously, I mean, I have a strategy, I have a game plan mm -hmm. and everything. Um, but I, I just go with what's working, what's open and stuff like that. So like I prepare for everything. Like I said, I train for everything. So if I can knock them out, I can knock them out. If it has to be a decision, you know, um, I'm not like I haven't trained yeah. to go three rounds or more with that, you know, so I'm completely comfortable. Um, so, yeah, I try to kind of just have like a backup for everything, you know, so it doesn't yeah. really matter where it goes. Yeah, you seem very calm and the fight's just a couple of days away. What's your mindset? leading up to this uh, fight? Yeah, it's the first, I guess, that I seem calm because usually I'm pretty pretty nervous leading up to these. I'm just, um, throughout like any competition, I'm just like a very nervous competitor and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, and so that's actually like a lot of the work that me and uh, some of my coaches have worked with me on is not like, you know, freaking out mm -hmm. weeks or like a month or like I usually do like beforehand and stuff like that. So, you know, I think people get a little too amped up like early on and 
yeah, it doesn't really help much. You know, you only need to be amped up for 15 minutes when you're fighting. So uh, mm-hmm. that's kind of just my whole goal this week. You know, I'm just finishing up like my last workout today and stuff like that. Everything physically has been going good. So I'm just, that's that's my goal is just to kind of chill now for the next couple of days after this, you know, obviously uh, make weight, the weight's mm-hmm. going good and everything like that. And then just be calm the whole time, you know, during the fight, before the fight, everything like that. In all of your fights, amateur, including your own professional career, has there been a particular fight that has really put you to the test? Yeah, I mean, really all, you know, anyone that goes out of the first round is kind of for me, you know. Um, <laughs> and like I had a couple couple decisions as an amateur and one was a title. So that was like, that was funky being a little extent, you know, the extended mm-hmm. time as an amateur so having five rounds. Um, and I definitely... That was like a fight that it definitely showed I kind of fatigued in, um, especially, you know, towards the end of the last couple of rounds and that. So that was like definitely a big wake up call. And then even just my two decisions, like even my last fight, um, you know, where that went to decision, that was mm-hmm. that was a th- pretty, pretty tough third round for me to get through, at least, you know, mm-hmm. um, I know I kind of got him in a dominant position and just, you know, kind of stayed there for the rest of the fight. But um. Yeah, anything that, you know, I, I like I said um, before, uh, you know, I'm kind of happy. Not that I like decision wins, but um, I was I was happy with my first decision win as a pro just because mm-hmm. that was like, I'm like, okay, I got, that was like a new first for me, you know, I can go 15 minutes, I didn't gas out, um, you know, I felt good even after the end of the third round and everything like that, so. I know you haven't looked past, you know, a particular fight to yeah. what you want your career to be, but is there a goal that you have in mind after this fight? I always say, you know, I'll, I'll be ready if, if any other, you know, promotion, a big promotion, uh, whatever, maybe UFC, uh, Bellator, PFL, whatever, like I'm staying in shape. I'll be ready to fight. Um, mm-hmm. And I think just, you know, as a competitor, I'm ready for that now. But uh, if it doesn't happen, it's not, you know, I'll just, okay, next fight. Again, um, you know, I, I really like fighting four cage titans locally. So if it's going to be mm-hmm. another local fight after that, I don't care. I'll just, um, you know, I'll figure out when Mike's doing his next next mm-hmm. event for that and try to get on that one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. But I like I said, I don't expect it to happen. So, so regardless um, of what know, happens, just, you're ready. Yeah, exactly. Going to stay in shape afterwards and everything like that. So. You know, I'll just keep training and kind of going about things the way I did before. Is there anything about this upcoming fight that you are, is there something different about this particular fight? Yeah, uh, there is a little something actually a little different. You know, Aaron, I think, is actually probably one of the most well-rounded fighters that I've probably come across so far. Um, As far as really good conditioning, he can grapple, he can strike. So with a lot of my fights, like even against good opponents, they were pretty good at a couple things and then it was pretty obvious stuff that like they kind of lacked in like what their weaknesses were and stuff so he's i would probably have to say one of the most well-rounded people um that i fought before so with this um like i said kind of having like multiple plans if something doesn't work because i'm not exactly sure where we'll each have the edge so i've kind of just prepared everything a lot um in case the first thing doesn't work and then i always have a fallback another fallback and you know, kind of plan A, B, C, and D that I can rely on. Um, so instead of training, I guess more specifically, it's just been a mm-hmm. lot of generalized, like trying to get better at everything possible. That's great because sometimes people just focus on one thing and then they don't prepare for anything else. So you're not surprised when you're in the cage. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, um, I think we'll be like a lot of our strengths match up um, mm-hmm. pretty well. So it's going to be interesting for me to kind of see at both uh, both of us to see where we can kind of get it advantage you know i don't think it's going to be like blatantly obvious right Mm -hmm. away who's going to be better at what so uh just a little different preparation in that sense i guess yes um before we conclude with this interview is there anything that you would like to share with us um no no nothing really (laughs) (laughs) this live stream i shared it on my instagram and stuff like that i'll post about it on my instagram facebook and then the uh k Titans website site will also have it so you can go on that and find it as well perfect thank you so much for those watching make sure that if you are getting the stream and you are supporting zachy sabatino make sure that you write his name so he gets credit for the stream thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it great thanks so much for having me